Hello. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short, is a long-term condition where the kidneys are damaged and do not work properly. One in eight people will develop CKD at some point in their lives and it becomes more common as we get older. The kidneys have lots of different roles in keeping you healthy. They filter out waste products from the blood and get rid of them in your urine. They make a hormone called erythmopoietin, which helps create red blood cells. They keep bones strong by balancing calcium and phosphate levels. They help control your blood pressure. They control the salt and acid levels in the blood. They make urine and they regulate the amount of fluid in your body. A chronic disease is one that progressively develops over time, sometimes very gradually. Chronic diseases are irreversible and cannot be cured, but can potentially be kept under control with different treatments. Chronic kidney disease can be very mild when it is known as CKD level 1. It then progresses through levels 2, 3 and 4 until level 5, at which point the kidneys are hardly functioning at all. The commonest causes of CKD are diabetes and high blood pressure. Other causes include long-term infections, blockages from kidney stones, some medications and genetic conditions such as polycystic kidney disease. Most people never have any symptoms and so do not know they have a problem with their kidneys. But people with the higher levels of CKD will have some symptoms which can include tiredness, poor appetite, itchy skin, swollen legs and headaches. Because the symptoms are not very specific, it is important to have your kidney function monitored with regular blood and urine tests, as advised by your healthcare team. The reason that it is so important to diagnose and then monitor chronic kidney disease is that people with the condition are at a higher risk of heart attacks or strokes. If you progress to the higher levels of CKD, then you may need dialysis or be considered for a kidney transplant. We know that people with long-term conditions have fewer and less severe complications if they get involved in managing their own care. They have less stress and anxiety about their condition and feel more in control of what is happening to them. This leads to a better quality of life. 